my god, there's a volume one. Is there gonna be a volume two? Hey guys, I'm Jess, and today on Beauty Pop, I have a another review, swatches, all the fun stuff of this palette from Hot Topic. It is the Taylor's Oldest Time palette. I've been calling it the Bell palette this whole time, though. <laughs> it's really cool. I like the packaging. It says on the back it was originally $16.90. Um, my friend actually found this and sent it to me, and I was super thankful because I couldn't find it. And apparently, this is no longer online, so I would just check out your local Hot Topic store because they might still have it in store. But it's really, really cute. I've been playing with it for the last few days. I'm super, super excited to show you guys it and do all the swatches and all the fun stuff. Let's just get started with all the awesomeness of this palette. So it's a really, really pretty just kind of maroon color and it has tons of gold accents and then there's a really pretty silhouette of Belle in the rose and it looks like a book like straight up packaging is really really cute you can see the pages on the top and on the side and on the other side see it says volume one so like is there going to be a volume two or did they just make that so it looks more like a book I don't know but there's silhouettes of Belle, Mrs. Potts, Chip, and who's that? Oh, Lemire. And then, I can't see, Clogsworth at the bottom. Clogsworth? 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 Something like that. Anyways, I know, I need to watch the live action again because I bought it a while ago and I watched it with my mom and then I watched it with Michael. And I feel like I need to watch it again because the live action was really good. And I'm really excited for the new live actions like, um... They're gonna do Aladdin, and did you guys see that they cast Will Smith as the genie? I'm excited. I feel like he will do an amazing job. So, yes. Which live action are you guys most excited for? Leave me a comment down below. I'm obviously most excited if they do The Little Mermaid. There have been talks about doing The Little Mermaid live action. Don't know how the heck you would do that, but I want to see it. Anyways, before I was like totally just off topic there is the back of it and it's really ornate looking in the back i really think this is a really cute palette you could just like sit out on your vanity because it is so adorable but anyways this is what the inside of the palette looks like there is a cool mirror right over here like her mirror in the movie slash other cartoon movie and then there's the more more figurines of everyone. And then you have the awesome shades. There are three, six, nine, twelve shades in this palette. And like I like the pattern that's going on behind like behind the shades. Cause it's just like floral and there's characters in it. Like there's like bell silhouette in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really cool. And then I like how all the shadows are kind of pressed into this rose shape. And I also really like the names of all the colors that are happening here. They're all really, really pretty. Watch, 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 watch. So I guess I'm just gonna start swatching. And I have used 80% of this palette of the colors so far there's only a few i have not used yet so i'm really excited to swatch them my overall thought of the shadows are they're very pigmented the shimmer ones don't seem to do as well as the matte slash shimmer ones like the ones with straight up glitter i feel like are a little harder to use you might have to use like some sort of like um like a wet brush or something like that um they do kick up quite a bit but i haven't had much fallout they seem to last all day long, and they are fairly pigmented, and you can build upon the color. I'm basically just going to do row by row. Maybe I'll put up a photo over here so you can see the colors that I'm doing. But let's start off with the purple. I'm really, really excited for that one. Ooh. This one is quite sparkly slash shimmery. Just kind of rubbing that on there. That is the purple. It has a really pretty, like, sheen to it like almost sparkly. It doesn't seem as sparkly. Here, let's swatch number two. See, it's quite buildable. Let's go on to the navy color. It's called Beast. That's pretty. See that one? This one's more matte. And that's after one swatch. It's 
build it up a little bit. They are really, really creamy. And there's two swatches. And now Winter Frost. That's a pretty gray. I've never, I haven't seen a whole lot of grays lately. This one's, there it went, okay. That's more like two swatches later, but it's just a really light gray. It'd be a great transition color. I have not used that yet, so. Yeah, it's like a very pretty blue gray and it's matte as well. But yeah, I really am digging the purple. I haven't used that one yet, so I'm gonna have to use it soon. Okay, so next up, we have the second row. So this one is Bookworm. Ooh, that's really pigmented. That's a really good, like, brown. And it doesn't, it looks matte, but no, it's matte. Yeah, I say it's matte. It's really, really creamy. It looks like shimmery or like, I don't know. It just kind of looks like it has a sheen in the camera, but it doesn't. Let's go with rose. I'm wearing that today. It's a really pretty color. There's one after one swipe. And two swipe. Just kind of rubbing it in. It's really, really pretty. This one, the petals one, I did have some issue. I was gonna use it as a highlight a few days ago and it didn't seem to work well for me. It looks, oh, it's working, but I should use my finger. Can you see it? Can you see that sheen that's happening? Why am I not, why didn't I zoom in on all those? There's a sheen, let me do two swatches over it just to see. There we go. Can you see the shimmer? Like it's just straight up shimmer going on. I'm just like breezing right through these, man. So I have ball gown up next. This does have quite a little sheen to it, shimmery going on. That was two swatches. Sorry, I forgot to show you one, but it's pretty pigmented. I have it on my eyes today. I really like it. It's really pretty, but it also works better when you use your finger to apply it. Next we got wolves, which is just a really, really dark color. <laughs> Holy crap. That was super pigmented. Whoa. I haven't used that yet. That's just black, like straight up black. Which, I mean, those two colors look really good together, but also look like a bumblebee. Bittersweet is an awesome transition color. It is also matte. It did not show up very well. Let me do another swatch. On top of it. It also slightly bends into my skin tone. Can you see it? There we go. It's just a really light tan, which is great for the transition color right there. So I've been using it like every day. My fingers are also now a little wet, so it's probably gonna help these shadows out just a little bit more. Next, I have Castle Walls. I have used these colors already, so I know they are pretty pigmented. Like, look at that. That definitely has a sheen going on. I think the only one with straight up glitter is Petals, but this one has a really pretty sheen. Next, it's Learn to Love. Super pretty, look at that one swatch and it's like in your face. Next I have Enchantress. I haven't used this shade yet because it's blue. Um, not a huge blue person, but that's after one swatch. I'm gonna do it again just to see how it goes. Two swatches, boom! Look at that sheen. So I'd say the only one that's really matte is probably the Learn to Love out of that. The rest have a shimmer sheen going on. Not really glitter, just like the shimmery look to it, which I quite like. Um, I'm not, I like mattes, but I just, I would never buy a palette full of mattes. Um, I just like to have different like textures going on to my eyes. So even after swatching them, they still have the rose imprint going on. So that's pretty good. Except for maybe the Mademoiselle one. It looks quite battered. But other than that, they look still really, really good. And I have used these for a few days already. So this is what the brush looks like. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush. But on the handle, it has like the silhouettes of Belle on it. And it's the same color as the palette. 
See, matches really well. I quite like these brushes, so I'm gonna put this in my collection. And you can see my eye look. Let me show you. Ugh, wrong way. So this is my eye look today. If you guys wanna see a tutorial on it, um, check back soon, because there will be a tutorial on it. So, yeah, it turned out really good. I really like it. So that is it for the Tales Old Is Time beauty book that you can hopefully find at Hot Topic. Yeah, maybe there'll be a volume two. Like, who knows? If you guys have any Disney makeup related products you'd like to, me to review, um, leave me a comment down below. I know there is a Snow White palette coming out or slash collection um, coming out soon. I don't remember the brand. Maybe I'll put it right here if I can find it. But that should be coming out soon. It looks really interesting. The big one, the big palette looks like it is all matte so I'm not as interested but they do have smaller palettes that are quite cute, which, oh, might have to get. Um, it's rather expensive. It's more high-end makeup rather than um, more drugstore kind of makeup. If you like these kind of Disney makeup related videos, make sure and give this video a big thumbs up. And also, while you're down there, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos. And click that button below to subscribe. Bye guys, thanks for watching.